This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Today is Andrew Bell, the CEO of Red Rock Resources. Following news that drilling has begun at the historic Beringa Gold Mine, which is part of the new Ballarat Gold Corporation. So, Andrew, thank you very much for joining us today. Are you well? I am. Thank you. Good. Well, it's good to be talking to you just before we finish the year for Christmas. So, I know this project we've spoken about before. Uh, investors uh, have been waiting a while for activities to start on the ground here. And now they have. Before we get on to the activities, could you perhaps just remind everyone of the of the land package that's been assembled here and its prospectivity? Yes, well, we have over 2,000 square kilometres of land um, around uh, Ballarat, which is one of the two main centres of the uh, gold rush in the 1850s, Bendigo and Ballarat. Uh, and this 2,000 plus square kilometres uh, contains a lot of old mines and old workings, uh, a, a very great number of them. And these are mines that, for the most part, either were very shallow um, scratch at the surface or um, were not exploited to great depth, but in any case, abandoned before 1910. And uh, so there was a long period in which there was not exploration of this area, and now exploration is getting underway again. Of course, everybody knows the story about Fosterville, uh, probably the richest gold mine of the world, uh, performing really well, rather to our north. And then um, <clears throat> just to our east, next to one of our licenses, um, a little further from Ballarat, just to our east, is um, the uh, southern, southern, is it southern Star, is uh, the company that's drilling, that was a uh, spin off from Mawson in Canada. And uh, they've been getting some spectacular results all the way down to 850 meters. They just came out today to go with the second set of results. The first set was down to about 600 meters and multiple high grade intersections. So, as people are now for the first time going deeper and looking at things in more depth, um, first of all, there's a lot of quite near surface high grade gold still to be exploited or found, extensions often of existing systems. And secondly, a lot of these structures go much deeper and uh, quite often there's a pickup in graded depth. So we're very pleased with the land we've got, which we think is high quality uh, and has a mixture of things that are more or less proven uh, high grade mines that are likely to have more in them and um, more green fields and things that were never really properly explored. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. Well, of course, the announcement talks about uh, drilling is now underway. You've got a planned 1,000 metres of diamond drilling, five holes into three priority targets to test for an extension of the previously mined gold mineralisation. So how are you able to identify these priority targets? And again, what are you looking for here then? Is it really to see if there's further mineralisation? Well, what we call the Baringa gold mine, is what today would probably have been developed as one mine, but in the days when it was being exploited, it was actually several along a, a little trend. And um, if you think of a liver-shaped deposit, which is what was historically exploited, then just to the west of that and a little lower, like continuation, um, is a liver-shaped area to which an access was created uh, some decades ago, in order to mine out that block. But then the mining never took place because the people ran out of money. And we are really focusing on that area and putting in some holes. Uh, the first one is in the north, then we come further south. And I think the second hole is going to be particularly interesting. Um, and that, that's uh, opposite where an adit goes in from the side. And then uh, we'll have another uh, hole to the south. So are we, I mean, I asked the geologists out there, what would be your definition, definition of success? And they said, well, 10, 12 grams, you know, a lot of material. Some, of course, because it's nuggety, could be much higher, but some good 10 to 12 gram plus hits, uh, and we understand the structure. 
And I said, what would be your definition of failure? I said, well, only hitting so perhaps six or seven gram hits and not understanding the structure. So we'll see, you know, geologists can be wrong too, but we know that what we're looking for there is to identify the, the shoots of veins mm-hmm. or something that could eventually be explored and maybe make a six to eight gram mine. Okay, well, certainly a six to eight gram mine, if that's what it turns out to be, is a very economically viable mine, isn't it? Yes, it would be, particularly near surface. Near surface, indeed, and yeah. And we believe that we have processing options nearby. Mm-hmm, indeed. Okay. Excellent. So how long is this planned drill program going to take, Andrew, do you think? Well, um, you know, the first hole is, I think, about 450 metres and uh, going at an angle going to 200 metres depth. How many metres do we do a day? Perhaps 30 metres. Um, I think that uh, you know, by the end of this month, maybe we've got the first hole at least drilled. We'd hope then to get some results in January. And in the course of January, we'll be drilling the second hole. And at the end of January or beginning of February, we'd hope to have results from that. We think you know, there's not a great we can think we can get through the labs reasonably quickly at the moment. So we should have um, we should have some news flow from that. And we're pretty optimistic. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Well, it sounds like in the new year, Red Rock will be very active on the ground and have some good steady news flow on exploration. But for now, thank you, Andrew Bell. I wish you a very happy Christmas holiday period. Thank you very much, Andrew Bell. And the same to you. Yeah, thank you for your Thanks. time.